Hey guys, welcome back to Cal's River Restoration. Check out this little tutorial on how I refinish this antique desk. I started off by stripping it. This antique desk had like four layers of thick paint. It had red, it had yellow, it had white, it had green, and it took a lot of stripping and sanding. This is a super old desk. It has a lot of sentimental value to the client that I got to refinish it for. I felt super privileged and honored that she chose me to do this project for her. I really truly have the coolest job that I get to do this. So I'm using this citrus peel stripper and I'm putting it on very liberally all over. And then I let it sit for like a good 24 hours before I start scraping it off. I used a plastic putty like spatula to scrape it off and then just scraped it into a plastic bag. I do the best I can. Sometimes I have to reapply the stripper. I feel like the video makes it look so much easier than it actually is. It is incredibly labor intensive and time consuming. So I adopted a little bit of help from my super supportive husband. He came out and he helped me scrape and scrape and scrape. And then we use mineral spirits and these sandpaper sponges. I guess they're not really sandpaper, but they're these sandy, like gritty sponges. And we were scraping and buffing it with that. To get the hardware off, I had to strip it because there were so many layers of paint on the hardware. I then soaked the hardware in mineral spirits and scr then scrubbed it with still wool. I also used a paint can opener to try to get all of the paint out of all the little nooks and crannies. I did my best. Uh, some of the hardware was broken, so I had to replace that hardware. And then getting it out of the screws was a nightmare, so I went ahead and soaked it in acetone. I then went over it. You have to wait for it to dry. So once you get it all cleaned off, you have to wait for your piece to dry before you sand it. I used a one 80 no 150 grit sandpaper to buff it out as best I could there were areas that I had to restrip and you will see that here's my dog wanting to be in on the action so um I did use my orbital sander where I could but then I had to sand by hand in some areas just because it was such a tight squeeze I tried to knock down the paint as much as I could to just get a smooth finish. I want to do a reclaimed wood look on the front and there was just no way for me to sand off that paint. It was just gumming up my sandpaper. So I decided to go ahead and strip it again. And then when, after I stripped it the second time, it worked really well. It came off really good the second time around. Then I used acetone after stripping it to get off any excess paint that didn't come off with the stripper. But of course there's two sides. So I stripped the one side got the use the acetone to wipe it all off and then flipped it over and then applied more stripper and then came back at it the next day and scraped off that paint and then again with the acetone and of course like before I have to let it sit to dry after I get that all off because you want your wood to be dry before you start sanding on it there was a hole inside of the desk so I filled it with wood filler it wasn't super easy to do i kind of taped it underneath and then shoved that putty into the hole waited for it to dry sanded it vacuumed it wiped it down i'm using a vinegar and water rinse that i make i took out the old paper that was in the drawer and then cleaned that out really good i mixed my own custom color for the base of the desk i wanted to do kind of a medium gray so i mixed charcoal and an aged gray together. The aged gray is really light and that's why I decided to mix some charcoal into it in order to create this sort of medium soft gray. I wanted to do the legs and the sides in this gray and then I'm gonna do a reclaimed front and then I'm gonna use white for the drawer and white for the top. 
and I did do two coats of that gray on the base. The coverage was phenomenal. I'm really happy with how it went on and it went on really smooth too. I also repapered the inside of the drawer. I used a gray and white trellis print and I felt like it made the inside of the drawer look really clean and kind of gave it more of a new modern look. I'm really happy with that. So once my face or uh, drawer, my desk front, I don't, for lack of a better word, was nice and dry, I went ahead and sanded that down with a 150 grit and then went get over that again with a 200 grit sandpaper. Then I went over it with a classic gray stain by Minwax and I did a gray and white wash. I used my aged gray and a linen white. First aged gray and I did kind of a um, dry brushing technique over it and then I used my linen white and did a dry brushing technique over it where I dry brush and then wipe it. I used the same towel that I used for my staining so that I could really get those colors to kind of marry each other. I painted the drawer face two coats of linen white and the coverage was really awesome. There was no bleeding. It went on really smooth. No problems there whatsoever. This is me doing my second coat of my custom medium gray. I went over the top with my linen white but I was not happy with the finish. You could still see it just wasn't smooth. So I decided to strip it again. I didn't record myself stripping it because I've been doing so much stripping that I just was like, whatever, just strip it. So while I was stripping, I went ahead and used a matte poly to seal that reclaimed wood that I'm putting on the front or the desk face. I decided to paint the inside of the desk with a charcoal gray just to give it a little bit of something, just kind of color blocking it out a little bit. So I ended up doing the medium gray, the white, and then I've got that charcoal gray on the inside and I thought it looked really cool. I did do two coats of that charcoal gray. After the top had dried, after doing my stripping, I painted it with the linen white, but there was bleed through, which I wasn't happy with. So I used a Kills primer and went over the top again, and that really sealed it in. I had no problems after that. I Killsed it, and then I went over it again with my linen white, and it turned out superb. I tried to do a floral transfer on the front because that was just part of my vision, but for whatever reason, I could not get it to stay to save my life. And I just got frustrated and said, okay, I'm just gonna botch that and do something else. And I did, I did a stencil on there and just put some details in. I used my linen white chalk paint to put that on and then after it dried I sanded it down just a little bit to give it a kind of distressed feel and then I sealed it with my matte poly. I then took a 150 grit sandpaper and sanded around all of the edges just to give it kind of a weathered shabby feel but not too much just around the edges and I'm super happy with how it turned out it looked really cute like that. Of course sanding paint causes a lot of dust so I went over it with my vacuum and my son helped me out a little bit and then of course wiped it down. Then I used Min Wax Soft Touch Sealing Wax over the entire thing. I've had really good luck with this stuff. I've heard some people kind of complain about the smell. I don't know if I'm... I think I noticed it the first time I used it but I don't really notice it anymore. Maybe because I use it so frequently that I don't notice it anymore. I don't know, I've become nose blind to it. So the smell doesn't bother me. I really like the durability of it. I used a wax brush to apply it, but then I went ahead and used a clean rag to get around the nooks and crannies. Then my husband helped me out and put back on all the hardware. This was my before and this is my reveal. I think it turned out super cute. I'm very happy with the finished result. The client was very happy with the finished result. 
So hopefully this piece will have many more years to come in its new home. Thanks so much for checking it out. I hope you'll like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.